Hey everybody, it's Christine. Um, I started to do this as one of those I'm going to talk you through everything videos. And then yet again, as I recorded and, or, you know, was creating the movie, I realized this is another 30 minute video. And I, I know, you know, time can be precious. And some, I know sometimes we like to watch things, you know, and like noises kind of run in the background. And then sometimes we're looking for the process. So I thought, okay, this video, since the last one was kind of long, I'm going to do a voiceover and try to, you know, make it a little shorter. So what this layout is, um, I mentioned actually during the talk, what you'll see my hands doing a lot of things because again, I imagined originally I was going to talk to you guys through the video. So apologies. <laughs> what I'm showing you here is I've got this piece of paper. It's actually a really old SEI paper. The background has um, florals and stuff, but I actually got it because of the coral color. I'm also showing you the sketch I'm using here. It's off of Pinterest. Um, you can see it's you know got a couple of photos in the upper left. There's a photo in the bottom right. Uh, the title is going across over this banner. And I'm, I'm basically, again, I'm talking you through the sketch there. So what I have is a photo of the hospital my dad is currently staying. Um, and then I have a picture of the word hope. I'm, I'm kind of, I guess I'm just explaining that I took that picture vertically and it probably should have been horizontal, but it affords me some space for something else in a minute. And then the picture of hope I actually just got off the internet. It's just hope on, on a rock. And then the other, the second photo, uh, I'm going to put that one in the lower right. And the second photo, I'm actually going to use that journaling card. And it says, stay positive, great things are coming. I, the card actually has coming your way, um, but I don't really want your way on there. I want something um, a little different. And initially, I have this whole remember sticker. It's really just giving me the idea, like the gold on white. And I'll find something else in a minute. Um, I'm showing you that border there. I actually had to cut it because it wasn't quite wide enough. I didn't have a 12-inch uh, long sheet, but that's okay because it's going to go behind the photo. And then I have these other three papers um, that are going to make up those banners. Now, the collection is the Jen Hadfield a peaceful heart. And I'm also showing you here this big giant journaling card that says everything will be okay. And initially I thought I'll try to use this, you know, for my title. I was going to use that somehow, some way in my head. I was going, okay, maybe I can use that. But honestly, I knew it was too big. It wasn't going to work because unless I somehow trim that out or something. So I end up using um, foam letters. So you'll see that. I'm showing you here that I'm going to mat the photos in that navy blue paper. I actually end up triple matting the hope, um, and I may be mentioning that here. I'm just showing you the various different papers. I'm really down to just scraps with this collection. Um, I think I may have only bought a few sheets, which is funny because I bought, I don't know, all this ephemera, and so I have ginormous quantities of ephemera, but I don't have much papers left. So I think I may end up going and getting some more papers. Okay, what I've done at this point, I've gone ahead and glued down the sheets of paper that I knew, so the borders across and then the little banners. I have matted the two photos in the, in the upper left there with the navy and then that hope. I showed you, I think I showed you, but I triple matted it and I did put it on foam, so I've mounted that. Now there's two buttons in the sketch and I found these old Market Street buttons. They're chipboard buttons. Um, originally I thought to maybe use love and hope as the two circles, but I really didn't want to take away from the hope in the photo. So I decided to use a heart on the one side and then the other side, I've got hope again. So now I've got the word hope in basically four places on this layout. Well, I think, I don't know if you see it yet. I'm sorry. It's a little bit tiny yet. Yeah, I think it is there now. Uh, the sticker, yeah, the sticker I have, uh, that's on the journaling card says hope is never lost. So this I'm showing you here, I got some illustrative faith, uh, Bible journaling type words. And I put in that sky because there was so much space on the photo in the sky, in the parking lot. I put hope is an anchor. It was neat because the letters were all in order on the sheet. So I have hope in the top of the photo. I now have hope on the journaling card and hope in the lower right photo. So it's kind of created this, you know, just again, it's a bit of a theme. Um, that's where I had this remember this and I, I didn't, I didn't want to use that sticker. It was just the idea. So you can see that I've got the white and gold. I've just set that off the side. I do not know where I got those phrases. I'm sorry. I don't recall the, the product The there's no name on it or anything. And I've taken it out of the packaging, so I couldn't tell you. Okay. What I'm kind of explaining now is I'm going to come in with, I don't think the sketch actually showed it, but I'm going to come in with some ephemeras in the, above the small journal card. Cause the, the sketch actually had bigger photo. And then there I'm mentioning, again, the sketch didn't have it, but I want it, uh, I'm going to put some hidden journaling behind my hospital photo because uh, I just, the sketch called for it like under the banners, but there's just not enough space for what I want to write. So I'm going to create a hidden hidden, uh, hidden tag. Now what I'm showing you here, again on the sketch, it had a 
uh, you know, droopy banner thing. I don't know what the, I think it's called a banner and it used triangles, but I have this, um, it's an old, uh, paper, can't remember paper, something, uh, punch. That's just like a scallop circle. I, th I don't think it's Sampin' Up. It's one or the other. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm decided I wanted to make these scallop circles and then I'm going to cut them in half here. What I was kind of showing is cutting out the sun. I can't do just one because I need to, I cut them in half. And if I cut it in half and flip it, then the little, I don't know if they're suns or rainbows. I think they're, they could be rainbows with sunlight poking out. I don't know. Initially I thought I was going to need more than one. So I thought I need to cut, um, out two cause I need, I want the, the rainbow things or whatever to be in the right direction. I ended up actually only using one of the halves, so I didn't actually need to do that. But hey, you know, you never know. So I was trying to prep. So I'm cutting out these um, these little scallop circles so I can cut them in half to create my my banner. And I'm kind of showing you there that I'm going to create this banner. And then that's going to hold the title. It kind of cups the title, as it were, um, in that little half circle. Okay, so I kind of fuss around with that just a minute. Um, I set those aside because I go, maybe I'll use them, maybe I won't, I don't know. And then I did also have uh, this Illustrated Faith puffy stickers, and I want the word prayer. The color looks pretty good. It's kind of got a little pink, pinky, uh, I don't know, what it's not a glow, but maybe a shadow to it. And so I'm going to use that. And here's where I'm also showing you the thickers. Uh, it's called Happy Life. The I'm going to use the navy letters out of those that I happen to have. I had one package and I really like them and I didn't buy a second package. I've used them quite a bit. They're just nice, basic, kind of smaller title font, um, font, and they just work really well when you have a longer title to, to build with. So again, I'm nattering here about adding ephemera and I'm going to add my heading pocket. I talk a long time, y'all. I realized that when I was going back through the video. Okay. So here's where I've come back in and I have selected the ephemera um, I have glued down the little, uh, half circle scallop things. I did pop up the pink one and the left Navy one on foam tape to give them some dimension. And then I'm pointing out that, uh, gold, I, I guess it's a sun. That's what I keep calling it myself is a sun. I'm thinking, okay, I want that to kind of peek out from behind those florals. And I'm showing you my box of ephemera there. I've got this whole little iris box. Um, I kind of going through it because I'm thinking, okay, do I need something else? Do I need something else? I ultimately end up going, no, I don't really need anything else. Uh, at least not out of the ephemera box. Um, you'll see in a minute, I end up going to the sticker sheet and finding some, because there's the gold on that sun. Um, but I really didn't have gold anywhere else. And I really needed to kind of add a little gold. There's where I decided to um, ink the edge of the tag. I just didn't want to leave it naked. And then I need to, of course, get the string to... Well, just not make it naked. So I'm going to add string there. I really like how this layout turns out. The whole point of it was to honestly record kind of where we're at right now. I mean, our life is our life and there's good and there's bad. Um, this is not a good time for our family right now, but I think that it's still important to capture that as part of our story. My daughter's like, why are you going to scrapbook that? And I go, because it's still part of our story. And, you know, my prayer is that it doesn't stay, that's not, I don't know. I'm not really articulating it right. That's not where I want our story to end there necessarily or anything like that. That's not what I mean, but it's like, it is It is part of my January story, right? This is where I am right now. I'm going every day. Um, okay, so here's where I am gluing down those leaves. I actually am kind of lifting them a little bit in a minute because I had some other things you'll see, but that one, the way they did the ephemera is kind of neat. Um, the florals kind of had these, either side, I, how do I explain this? So the leaves were like, they were single pieces, although meant to be, um, have the florals kind of put in the middle, like a cluster or whatever. So it was actually a single piece that I cut in half to give myself the ability to, you know, organize and rearrange those leaves the way I want them. Um, here's where I am adding a little foam tape to the top of that floral that goes over that sun. I wanted it to kind of lift a little bit. So I put a little top uh, tape at the top of it and I glue at the bottom and now I tuck that in there and yeah, I got to add my little bit of glue and pull my foam sticky stuff off. I've seen some foams that they're called tabbies or something where you can just lift the tab uh, to get the sticky parts off. This isn't really hard to use. I like it, but at the same time, it always takes time to get that foam st the stuff off the back. Okay, here's where I'm looking in the sticker book. 
or excuse me, not sticker book, the um, card cardboard stickers for the um, Peaceful Heart Collection. And I find this gold floral. And then there was a second gold floral. And I put that up there because I want it to, because I had the gold sun on the right. And I go, I really need a little more gold. I need to reintroduce that gold somewhere. So I put that gold floral up there. And then I put the gold floral in the bottom. And I like how that looks. Um, although I'm still kind of going, okay, I think I want a little more something, something. Um, I go in a second. That cat, she's always in the way. She's so nosy. Um, I'm explaining, I guess, where all the gold is there. Then, there's my head. Sorry about that, guys. I think that's the only time I do it. I go into the, I actually had the reaching out. What am I doing right here? Actually, that's a lie. I'm adding the foam behind the leaves on the green. But I do in a second go into the reaching out, Jim Hadfield's reaching out sticker book. And um, I'll show you in a moment, but I actually find, so I feel like this sun ephemera actually probably came from that collection. I might in this, I think this iris kit actually has ephemera from both reaching out and peaceful heart because the color schemes are so similar. I put them together. So I think that sun actually is from reaching out perhaps because in a minute I'll go into the reaching out sticker book and I find smaller versions and I'll end up tucking those in and you'll see that in a minute. Right now I'm just adding those dimensions to those florals. I like to do that. Um, I just think it looks pretty and it has little shadows and that sort of thing. Um, I also had this little piece, uh, it's a candle and it says, peace be still. And again, the, the photo itself had so much parking lot and sky. It was actually a very poorly composed photo, <laughs> um, but that's okay. I added the uh, that little candle there. Okay, I'd already added the stickers from the sticker book there. I don't know if you can see them, they're really tiny, um, but there's little suns in the upper, uh, upper cluster and that lower left cluster. Um, I'd actually told you if you had been watching while I was talking and then I didn't edit it all out and all that stuff, I had made a, this is where I'm getting the suns, but I'd made a comment. I was going to go get gold enamel dots. I thought I had gold enamel dots. I used to have gold enamel dots. I think I had two left. So, uh, I can't use gold. So I found my Kaiser craft, their, uh, little pearls in like a, uh, really soft kind of peach it's not that the peach is not right it's really softer than that i don't know the right word but it's like a pinky peachy color it really kind of goes nicely with the colors in the collection and then I, a, a green and so what i'm doing now is just looking for places to add my little uh pearls they're not even really enamel dots they're they're called pearls they're by kaiser craft i've had these packages i've got a ton of these still tons and tons um i really probably should try to use them on every layout at this point because i still have so many I couldn't believe I didn't have any gold enamel dots, though, y'all. I have a whole box of enamel dots, and I was like, holy cow, I have none. Um, but that's okay, because in the end, I think the gold might not have been the right color or like the right patina of gold, so it worked out anyway. So I'm adding my few little bits of um, pearls here. I thought about doing little splatters, but then I thought, no, I don't want to do that, because I really actually think adding all these little um, dots was plenty at the end. Um, yep, I'm finding my last little bits here going, where do I put these? I don't remember the last one I placed, so I can't know exactly when to stop talking, but, um, I'll show you in a second. I'll, I'll pick the layout up and, and kind of show, oh, I know what I do next. I take it back. After I put these enamel dots, I'm looking at the layout and I realize I need to ink the edges of the coral paper. Um, I had inked the edges of all the pattern papers with, um, my vintage photo distress oxide um and i realized that it looked a little weird to have the pattern papers inked but not the coral and it's not that you can see real strongly the ink on the edge of the coral it just it just gives you like a little shadow um and just it just kind of finishes out the it looks more finished uh, originally it just looked a little strange it again it wasn't like shockingly different but it was enough to where i was like okay that looks a lot better so i'm adding my little bit of ink here with my uh, Distress Oxide. That doesn't take too long. And then that's pretty much it. I'm happy with this. Um, I do go in and journal on the tag, my thoughts, but you can see my, my little clusters. I think that turned out really pretty. I'm happy. I thought the sketch worked well with this one, and I'm just showing you the dimension. Anyway, have a great day. I hope you were inspired. Talk soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.